Margot Spann joins us live from Camp Randall, where she spent this afternoon navigating through that enemy territory, Margot. Absolutely, Maria. It's nearly impossible to measure the excitement among fans down here. But I will tell you this. I wore my favorite earrings because I knew all eyes were going to be on Camp Randall as both teams take the field for a matchup that's sure to be hot. We put as much red and white out as we possibly could. The usual sea of red filling Madison now looks like a black cloud as Husker fans come out in full force to cheer for their team. Union South is rolling out the red carpet for all football fans. The biggest thing was figuring out where every single place in the building that we could put a television set because we know that a lot of people aren't going to be able to get into the game and they're going to want to watch the game. So we have been running wires all over the place to get more televisions in the building. 850 people are expected at the Husker Huddle, one of several parties welcoming Husker fans to Wisconsin. Some say it's not easy to cheer for Herbie Husker living in Badger country. They play great football and it's always great to uh, be a fan of the Cornhuskers. And now that uh, they're going to be on TV in the Big Ten, we're going to get to see a lot more games. The colors may look the same, but Husker fans from Nebraska say it's loyalty that separates the scarlet and cream from the cardinal and white. The Huskers are all we have in Nebraska. We don't have any pro teams. So we like to follow our Huskers and we're true to them. You need to have championship blood. You know, we've been champions before. If you think red and you think Huskers, you could be a Husker. <laughs> Police estimate 20 to 40,000 Husker fans are here in Madison enjoying the game. 